Now, with the 130,000 or so, that, that's one of those Harvard studies. It seems to always be recycled. It is. Um, and so the people who are eating the most red meat compared to the most plant protein, those are very different diets, not just they're not substituting plant protein for beef. They can do a statistical model that switches those. But the people who are worried about their health and worried about following all the recommendations are the people who aren't smoking, who aren't um, sitting on their couch pumping aluminum every evening. You know, they're, they're exercising. They're not smoking. Um, they, they weigh less. They're following all the health recommendations. Mm -hmm. And for me, the aha moment was the publication from the NIH AARP study, which is more than a half a million people. There were 70,000 deaths, and they linked red meat consumption versus white meat consumption, white meat being poultry and fish. And the risk of every cause of death went up statistically significantly with red meat consumption. So we have heart disease, we have cancer, but we have accidents going up exactly the same amount as cancer. So tell me how eating a roast beef sandwich makes you get into a fatal accident. And there was another cause of all other causes, and there were 10 different causes of infections, of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and um, some other um, diseases that I'm just not recalling from 15 years ago. <laughs> That was even significantly higher than cancer or accidental deaths. And in the white meat group, all the causes of death were significantly lower, except heart disease. 